Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to solve this sum in isometric. Now if you see in this length is 75 plus 20 95 which is on the right side of O, height is 40, right? See this is front view and this is top view, it's in third angle. Front view is down, top view is up. Length is 95 which I will take on right side, height is 40 and width is 40. So first I will draw that, let me write origin and 30 30 degree. Remember to draw layout and write origin and 30 30 degree. Now if you see this is part 1, this is part 2, there are two parts. So part 1, we'll start with the part 1 first, right? This part 1 is this part, part 2 is this part. So we'll take height 10. How much is this? 10. So we'll take 10 from right side. We'll go up. Now this height. This height is 10 mm. I'll just write it down. So you take 10 from up. And you draw a horizontal line. Now if you see how much is this? 20. So you take 20 and you go down. So this is how you will get your first part. Now remember one thing, whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind, right? So take the same part behind. How much you have to go behind? 40. So take all the points behind by 40. So take this also behind by 40. Now see this. Now we have to draw part 2 which is 10 mm. So I will take center point and take 5 5 on both the sides. See this. Then you join this, so you'll get that slope. After that, we'll draw a circle. Now for that, we required a rhombus of side 40. So we'll take 40. We'll draw longest diagonal. We'll take midpoint. We'll draw a line like this. And we can draw a circle. That will appear as ellipse. See this. So with four center method, we can draw semicircle. Like this. From here we will draw one arc and from here we draw another arc. After that We'll darken this remaining line. See this will be dark. We'll darken this line also. 
part two. See this. So we are done with part two. Part one is also done. Only the height is remaining. If you see the ten mm height. see this part so what we will do we'll draw tangent from here from here we'll go down by 10 point 0.1 and point 0.2 from there we'll go down by 10 10 mm each we'll take this radius and draw it again see this same we will take this radius from 2 will go down by 10 we will draw arc again so we have completed the sum you can do axis line as well as dimensioning Thank you.